more careful. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm your boy here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Division 2 build video. Hope you guys are staying healthy and safe out there. And today I'm bringing you guys a run and gun tank build, so hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys like, come subscribe, and let's grind to the build. So firstly with this build, we are sitting at 118% crate hit damage, 1.7 million armor, and also 36% protection from leets. Now, if we first start off with our weapons for this build, I'm using the tactical UMP45. Now, if we look here, it has maxed out attributes and it also has the talent preservation. Killing an enemy repairs 10% armor over 5 seconds. Headshot kills improve the repair by an additional 10%. So, this basically kind of counts as armor regen because it is regenerating um, our armor every time we kill an enemy. So, um, also, when you kill an enemy, that lasts for five seconds but that also doesn't have a cooldown so let's say you kill one enemy and then kill another it'll just restart the timer i'm pretty sure or add on to it so yeah but either way every time you get a kill this is activating it's no cooldown on it so yeah now we could go over to my secondary weapon for this build i'm using the mop which is a name six shotgun now this has the attribute 10 armor armor kill which is very helpful and also have it rolled with preservation so yeah and that's it for the weapons now we can first start off with the gear let's first start off with the mask i'm using three piece guillard for the five percent total armor ten percent health and also one percent armor regen now each piece of gear has um crit hit chance and crit hit damage rolled on it and i have protection from leaks on this build so i have this on the mask chest piece and backpack now we get on to the chest piece I'm using One Piece Soul Cloud Concern for the 10% SMG damage. I just wrote with the talent Intimidate. While you have bonus armor, it amplifies total weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. This is just helping us output even more damage with this build. Um, now we can go down to the holster for this build. I'm using One Piece Bolster Army for the 1% armor regen. This is rolled with created chance and created damage again. And now we go over to the knee pads. This is our second piece of Gilligard, same with the gloves. This is our third piece. And for the backpack, I'm using the exotic backpack, the Memento. Now this has a talent kill confirm. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provide both a short and long term buff. The first of which scale with the number of core attributes equipped and lasts 10 seconds. So for every red core attribute, we're getting 5% weapon damage. For every blue one, we're getting 10% bonus armor. And for every yellow one, we're getting 5% skill efficiency. And also, for every trophy collected, you get an additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds. And this goes to a maximum of 30 stacks. So we're going to be getting 1%, 30% uh, weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and 3% armor regeneration, which is helping us with our armor regen. So with this build, we're sitting at 5% armor regen when we're at maximum stacks with the memento. But without any stacks, we are sitting at 2%. And also, whenever we get a kill with preservation, we're getting that extra 10%. And if we get a headshot, that's 20%. So, with this build, you're able to get your armor back pretty fast. And also, with the um, skills I'm using, I'm using a reinforce, uh, Reinforcer Chem Launcher. This is healing for 70,000 HP over time. That isn't a crazy amount, but it is helping, like get the armor back much faster so yeah and we're also using the defender drone which is giving us a 31 percent damage reduction which is basically giving us that run and gun um the possibility of running gunning instead of using a shield we wouldn't be able to run so yeah but you can switch off the defender drone for the crusader ballistic shield if you want with this build is sitting at 4.7 million um health 
but i do recommend if you are going to run the shield make sure you use the artificial hive behind that since we are using the technician um specialization tree anyway so yeah and um with this build also we are getting up to like i think 500k crits which is pretty good for a like tanky build like this so yeah I, I wanted to make sure i included that and now we can go to the weapon stats so i'm sitting at 114,000 weapon damage 59 percent crit hit chance and 118 percent crit hit damage once again now we go on to the armor we're sitting at once again 1.7 million armor we're getting that 10 percent armor on kill that's from the shotgun only when we're using the shotgun we're getting the um, arm regen from one piece bolts from the armory three piece gilligar and once again from the um Memento when it's at maximum stacks and also that 36% protects from leaks from the mods on our pieces of gear and uh yeah that's basically it for the build uh hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys like comment subscribe make sure you guys stay safe out there and I'll see you guys in the next video